Hello everyone, this is our topic of torrefaction of the biomass. So, basically, at first, what is torrefaction? What is the actual meaning of torrefaction? Torrefaction in a scientific term is a word that is given here. It is a thermal process. Torrefaction is a thermal process to convert the biomass, like straws, sugar cane, remain, uh, remainings, into a coal which is biologically a better fuel than the traditional fuel so we always uh, get to know on the news that uh, stop burning in the Haryana and Punjab causes pollution in the Delhi city so it is very harsh because the stops produced by the farmers are easy to be burned at the field only uh, so they uh, burn that uh, stuff and don't think about the pollution cause of uh, cause they don't know that the pollution would be so harsh to the people in the Delhi. So there is a technique in which those biomasses like that uh, straws uh, of their rice, rice straws and sugar cane remainings that but uh, that other things better to be burned. They must they can be used to produce fuel a fuel that is biologically good for the environment and to the human beings so there is a process in which those bio masses like the rice straws sugar cane uh, particles should uh, can be used to produce a cleaner fuel which is about 90 percent less carbon emitting carbon dioxide emitting so let me uh, give a brief overview how this process can be achieved torrefaction of the biomass so first of all biomass 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 is uh, put in a hopper and in this chamber the biomass is dried there is uh, if there is a uh, uh, 70 to 80 percent of moisture co moisture content then this moisture is removed by uh, temperature by a uh, heating elements so only about 20 to 30 percent moisture is uh, permittable for the rest of the process this biomass remaining is transferred to the next chamber and this chamber is the main chamber where the where reaction takes place and this reaction is called pyrolysis and the reactor and this reactor where the biomass is torrefied is known as torrefaction reactor in this reactor a process pyrolysis is achieved uh, to get a cleaner fuel so what happens when this biomass comes to this chamber biomass comes to this chamber for example rice straws are coming to this chamber this straws is burnt using uh, absence of oxygen in this chamber there is very low oxygen or absence of oxygen because absence of oxygen is very hard to achieve so we can say it is very less oxygen is present in this chamber so what happened in this chamber the fuel is burnt fuel is burnt then the harmful gases produced in the grains like uh, nitro nitrous oxide carbon monoxide hydrogen gas carbon monoxide gas gets uh, gets out of the from the fibers of the grains and this hydrogen carbon monoxide and nitrous oxide gas comes to this chamber this chamber is known as this chamber is known as combustion chamber so this hydrogen gas carbon monoxide gas etc these gases comes to this chamber where uh, this gases combustible gases are burnt are burnt 
by applying oxygen to this chamber by applying oxygen to this chamber this hydrogen and carbon monoxide carbon dioxide gases are burned by the application of hydro uh, oxygen in this chamber so when these gases are burned the heat generated in this combustion chamber is utilized for the burning of the grains on this torrefaction reactor so finally when all the harmful gases gets burned sulfurs and all the pure form of carbon dioxide comes out from the reactor and this fuel is known as biofuel which is a very good product for the production of energy this uh, fuel is very efficient that uh, it do not helps in the environmental pollution because it produces about 80 to 90 percent less carbon dioxide as compared to the traditional coals that we get out from the uh, mines this is the process how uh, normal biomass which is uh, unnecessarily burned by the farmers uh, which compensate in the pollution so this type of biomass can be converted very easily by the spirolysis process and converted into a fuel which is biofuel and this fuel is uh, very efficient and it has a very high calorific value so this is a fuel that must be used everywhere by burning of this uh, biomass thank you